Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How Hello, are you? everybody. Hello, Roberto. Welcome to the class. Hello, Kelia. Good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, everybody, everyone. Hi. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thanks, teacher. How was your day? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, how do you say donar sangre, teacher? I donate my blood. I don't hate my blood. I donate. I donate. I donate my. I blood. donate. I, I donate my blood. Okay, let's start with tonight class. Uh, do you have any question about the platform exercises? No question. No problems. No question. No problems on the platform. Okay. Excellent then, uh, don't forget please that this week uh, we are going to take the meter, the meter exam. So for tomorrow, it is important that you complete that part, section one, section two, section three, and also the meter exam. And keep working the platform, please. Si ya completo la sección one, two, and three, uh, you can go immediately to the section number four or number five, right? So no problem. So if you don't have any question about that, let's start with today's class. In yesterday's class, we were studying some preposition of place. Do you remember some of them? Do you remember some of the preposition of play we studied yesterday? Across, from, across, in front, on, behind, uh, in, the corner of, in the corner of, next to, to between, behind. Okay, excellent. So we studied those preposition of place and behind, across, from, next to, between, on, and in the corner of. We studied those prepositions and also we learned some places of the city. Do you remember some of, of those places? The drugstores and gas station. Drugstore and gas station. Any other place? Uh, teacher, I don't remember the word. How do you say alcaldía? City hall. City hall. City, City hall. hall. City hall. Okay. That, that's the word. Yesterday you asked me about tianguis. How do we call a tianguis? So it is artisan, artisan market. We can say that artisan market. And here in our country, we say tianguis to the place where animals are sell. Sorry, are sold. When they son vendidos los animales, right? We call that like a tianguis, but in other countries in Central America, a tianguis is a market of um, craft, right? artisan, artisan, de los artesanos, right? That is, artisan in The market. tianguis uh, uh, can buy uh, goats, cows, pigs, horses. Horses, can you buy any animals, coral animals? Yes, you can buy those animals in that place, in a tianguis. So tianguis is a market. It's a market. So let's start with tonight's class. I'm going to share my screen with you. Today's topic is giving direction. Tonight we're going to learn how to give direction in a city. When we are in a city and we want to know where is a place. 
So giving direction, that is the topic for today. I am sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. So welcome to our seventh class. Today is our seventh class, and we're going to study this topic, giving direction. Just a second. Okay, here is it, giving direction, and we're going to practice the vocabulary that we learned yesterday. Hide these controls, and we're going to start. So giving direction, that is our topic for tonight. So look at this map. We can see many places at the city, and we had parking lots, video store, MacDabs, a car house, uh, police station, bank, library, grocery store, city elementary school, city middle school, city high school, fire station, drugstore, coffee house, city clinic, bakery, city park, barber shop, beauty shop, daycare center. And we have the name of the street. We have Lone Avenue, Front Street, Back Street, and Border Avenue, and I have here a small conversation. So look at it. Oh, yes. What's the meaning? Uh, let me search. Uh, the courthouse. Oh, car courthouse is the court. I made a mistake in this part, and I write an S an extra S, right? It's with one S, house. It's a house. So car house is la corte, the court. Oh, but it court, is court. with one S, car house. So let's see, we have here the cardinal points. We have the north, the west, east, and south. And we're going to use them in this map. So look at the first small conversation. And excuse me, I need a prescription field. Can you tell me where the is? Yes, the is on. So look at this. Follow the directions to find the place. Follow the direction to find the place. Is on Shore Avenue across, across the street from the library between the fire station and bakery. So what is it? What is the place? Number one. Number one. Okay, it says the first uh, the first direction on Shore Avenue. Shore Avenue. So we're going to do for Shore Avenue and across the street from the library. Here is the library across the street. Here is it, right? It's between the fire station and the bakery. So the place is. The answer is the drugstore. It's the drugstore, yes. Uh, option one is the correct drugstore. Uh, two volunteers to practice this small conversation. So what is a prescription? I need a prescription filled. What is that? Okay, necesito comprar esta receta. That is the expression. I need a prescription filled. Can you tell me where the drugstore is? Yes, the drugstore is on Shore Avenue across the street from the library between the fire station and the bakery. Two volunteers to practice this small conversation, please. Who went? Thank you, mm -hmm. Manuel. Manuel N. Me? Okay, so, so, yes. 
Is that the correct pronunciation, Sobeida? Yes, teacher. Okay, Sobeida and Manuel in this small conversation. Okay, excuse me, I need a prescription filled. Can you tell me where the drugstore is? Yes, the drug store is um is on Short Avenue across the street from the library between the fire station and the bakery. Thanks a lot. Very, very good job. Thank you. So, library. Library. This Thank is the pronunciation library. Okay. Thanks a lot. Let's see the next question. No, we're going to use the same app. So can you please help? Can you please help me? I am looking for the, do you know where it is? Yeah. Why not? Sure, the is on back street, just south of the elementary and middle school. What is the place? It's on back street, just south of the elementary and middle schools. Barbershop? High school? Okay, one of your classmates say barbershop and the other will say city high school. So if you choose number four, you are right, city high school. It's a just so, justo al sur de la escuela elementaria y la escuela secundaria, elementary and middle school. So the place is city high school. Thanks a lot. So two volunteers to practice this small conversation. I need two volunteers who want to participate. Who wants to participate tonight? Uh, say me and your name, please. Eric. Okay, Eric and... Any other volunteer? Me, Robert. Okay, thank you, Robert. So, Robert and Eric. So, Eric, you can start, and then Robert. Just sure, yeah, barber stuff like that. High school. High school. City high school. Ah, okay. Um, can you please help me? I am looking for the city high school. Do you know where is this? Why not sure? The Barbershop is on the street just south of the ele elementary and middle schools. Thanks a lot. Very good job. Thank you. So let's go with the next example. Can you help me? I am looking for them. Sure, you can find them on back street between the barbershop and the daycare center. Beauty shop. Oh, beauty shop. Beauty shop is the place. It's on back strip and it's between barbershop and also daycare center. It's in so beauty shop. Two volunteers to practice this small conversation. Me, teacher. Thank you, Lisette and. Lisette, and any other volunteer, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ricardo. So, Lisette, you can start. Can you help me? I'm looking for the beauty shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on Back Street, between the barber shop and the on the care center. Thank you. Excellent. Let's see the next one. Could you please help me? My car is missing. Where's the 
They is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back Street. Could you please help me? Podría ayudarme, por favor? My car is missing. Mi carro está perdido. Where is the? The is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back Street. Police station. Police station. Okay, excellent. So this is the southwest one. This is the southwest. So the corner. Courthouse. Courthouse? No, that is the northwest. That is the ah, northwest. Sorry, yes, yes. And it is the southwest. And so the, south police the, the police station is the place. Thanks. Oh. That is the correct place. So could, could you please help me? My car is missing. Where is the police station? The police station is in the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back Street. Do you want to practice this small conversation, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. And? Me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. So, Jonathan, you can start. Could you please help me? My car is missing. Where is the police station? The police station is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue in Back Street. Thanks a lot. Excellent job. Thank you very much, Jonathan and Manuel. Let's go with the, I guess this is the last one. So, hi, I have a bad code. Could you please tell me where the is? Sorry to hear about. Okay. Sorry to hear about that. You will find it on the northwest corners of Border Avenue and Front Street. So what is the place? City Clinic. Thank you, Jonathan. City Clinic. That is the place, the City Clinic. Now, yes, it is the northwest corner is this one. Northwest Corner City Clinic. This is the place. So City Clinic. Two volunteers to practice this small conversation. Me, teacher. Thank you, Marlon. Marlon and Marlon. Okay, Marlon and Monica. So you can start, Marlon, please. Okay. Hi, I have a bad cow. Could you please tell me where the city clinic is? Sorry to hear about that. You will find the city clinic on the northwest corner of Border Avenue and Home Street. Thank you very much. Excellent job. That is the place. Oh, I have one more. Let me see. This is the last one. Hello, could you tell me where the is? Yes, the is across the street from the city park and next to the city clinic. What is the place? Bakery. Thank you, Tatiana. That is the right place, the bakery. It's across the street from the city park. Cruzando la calle del parque, ¿verdad? And next to the city clinic. So here is the bakery. Bakery. Two volunteers to practice this last small conversation, please. Hi. Hi. Thank you, Fran. Francisco and. Me, Hazel. Thank you, Hazel. So you can start, Fran, please. Okay. Hello, could you tell me where the bakery is? Yes, the bakery is across the street from the city park and next to the city clinic. Thanks a lot, excellent job. So let's see the next one. Question, uh, we're still giving direction and the general question is how do I get to? How do I get to the restaurant? How do I get to the hospital? How do I get to the city clinic? How do I get to the department store? 
or you can use this other equation. How can I get to? How can I get to the city hall? How can I get to the mall? How can I get to the park? How can I get to the school? So we use these two questions to ask for direction. And we're going to use this answer. We can use this answer to help people walk out or go out. These words both mean subir. Subir, suba por esta calle, walk up, go out. Walk down or go down. It's the contrary. Bajar. Baje por esta calle. Turn left on. Gire a la izquierda. Turn left on. Turn right on. Gire a la derecha. Or you can use these phrases on the right, on the left. And this phrase, go straight. Go straight on. Camine recto. Vayase recto. En esta calle. Teacher. Yes. Estas respuestas son para la question two. For both, for both question. Las dos preguntas significan cómo puedo llegar. Cómo puedo llegar ah. a algún lugar. So how do I get to a restaurant? Or how do I get to Maria's restaurant? In the map we studied yesterday, how can I get to the, the department store? So you, oh, okay. we are going to use these phrases to give direction. We are going to see the next example. Look at this conversation. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk out Fifth Avenue to Fifth, Fifth Street. St. Patrick is on the right. It's near Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from the Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. So this is the Empire State Center. So look at this. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Disculpe, señora, puede ayudarme? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a la Catedral de San Patricio? Just walk out Fifth Avenue to Fifth Strip. Solo camine, ¿verdad? Suba, ¿verdad? Por la avenida número. What is Fifth? Quinta. Suba en la quinta avenida hasta la número. 50. Ok, hasta la calle número 50. St. Patrick's, it's on the right. La catedral de San Patricio está a la izquierda o derecha? Derecha. 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 Is it near Rockefeller Center? What's the meaning of near? A la par. Cerca. 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 That's the meaning. Cerca. Eh, yes, it's right across from the Rockefeller Center. Sí, está justo cruzando la calle de Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Gracias. ¿Y dónde está eh, this building, Empire State, este edificio? Is it far from here? What's the meaning of far? Lejos. Lejos. It's right behind you. Behind. What's the meaning of this preposition of place? Atrás. 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 Just turn around and look up. Solo des una vuelta y mírenlo. So, look at this. Look at this other map. We have the following places here. Gas station, bakery, Parking lot, airport, hospital, supermarket, park, yearly, train station, museum, library, bank, restaurant.
in information office, tourist information office, train station, museum, and library. So, and we are at this point. Okay, we have the name of the street. Cardiff Road, Queen Street, Oxford Street, and King Street. So let's see, we are in this point. So walk along Oxford Street. It's next to the Yewardley, opposite the train station. What is the place? What is the place? It's a walk along Oxford Street, camine a lo largo de la calle Oxford. It's next Park. to the Yewardley, opposite the train station. Park. 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 So we are here. So walk along Oxford Street. It's next to the Yewardley. We're going to see here the Yewardley. It's opposite the train station. Está opuesto a la estación de tren, the park. That is the place. So walk along is another phrase we can use para decir vayas en esta calle. Walk along Oxford Street. Let's see the next direction. Turn right and take. Turn right and take the first strip. Vamos a caminar hasta acá. Para qué lado dice que tenemos que girar? Turn right. Izquierda. Uh, Derecha. Derecha. Take the first strip on the left. Acá vamos a ver. The Then dice on the left. First strip on the left. La primera calle que encontremos a la, a la izquierda. A la izquierda. Queen Street. Y, y it's on your right next to the hospital. Supermarket. Supermarket. The supermarket is the place. So turn right. Gire a la derecha en esta esquina. Camine, ¿verdad? The first strip on the left. La primera, vaya en la primera calle a la izquierda. It's on your right next to the hospital. Then is the supermarket. That is the place. So let's see another example here. And it says, go along this strip, walk past the train station. So go along this strip. Here we go. It says, pass the train station. Pasamos la estación de tren. It's on your left. Y aquí está a la izquierda. Opposite the car park or the parking lot. So hey. what is... It's the airport. It's the airport. Excellent. So let's see another example. Look at this. Take the first. Turning on the right. Tome la primera calle. Girando a la derecha. It's on your right. Between the tourist office. Information. And the bank. What's the place? Restaurant. 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 That is an easy one. So, take the first. Tomamos la primera. On the right. En la, a la derecha. La primera calle a la derecha. Then, it's on your right. Está a su derecha en medio de. Tourist information office and the bank. So, the place is the restaurant. So look at this other one. Who wants to read this one? A volunteer Me. to read this one. Thank you. Me. Go Thank straight. You. Oh. Continue, please. I'm sorry. Go straight on a take a second. Turning on the right. It's on the left, opposite the hospital. What's the play? It's a go straight. Go straight on. The gas station. The gas station is the place. Then it says, take the second. 
eh, ya pasamos the first, la primera calle, the second, turning on the right, iré a la derecha, it's on the left, opposite the hospital, so it's the gas station, that is the place, thank you. Uh, teacher, yes. what is the meaning, the strike? Strike stop. Straight is recto. recto. Ah. Go straight, vaya recto. Teacher. Yes. Eh, solo es una consulta. Tell me. Eh, en vez de decir opposite, se podría decir in from y eh, on the yes. hospital. Yes, we can say in front of. In front of the uh -huh. hospital. Okay. But, but or, teacher, across the street, the hospital. Okay, across from, across from the street. Yes, across from, across from the hospital street. We can use that, that option too, across from. Any other question? Any other doubt at this play, at this slide or this exercise? No doubt, no question. So let's see the next one. Who wants to read this? Thank you. You can start. Take the first street on your right. Take the next street on the left. It's on the right next to the supermarket. Okay, what is the place? Oh, okay. It okay. says, take the first strip on your right, take the next strip on the left. So here we go. We start is working here. We take the first. Hospital. And take is the it, next strip on the left. Uh, okay. Hospital. It's on the right next to the supermarket. So it's the hospital. Hospital. This is the place. Excellent then. For a street. Hello. For the Oxford Street. The Oxford Street. What's your question? Can you please repeat? No, que agarré la calle equivocada. Ah, oh, ah, ok. Se perdió por acá, por el parque anduvo. Se fue en Oxford Street. Then, let's see. Look at this conversation. The first one, is said, good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? Walk on First Avenue, turn right on Center Street, wall one block. The post office is in the corner of Center Street in the Second Avenue next to the hospital. So we can use this. Good morning. May I ask you for some help? Buenos días. ¿Puedo pedirle a un poco de ayuda? Sure. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? ¿Podría decirme cómo llegar a la oficina postal? And here are the directions. Here is the direction. Walk on First Avenue. Camine en la... ¿En cuál avenida? Primera. We are, we are at this point. Estamos acá in the blue point. So, let's see. Well, on First Avenue, turn right on Center Street. Vamos a buscar the Center Street. We are here on Center Street. Walk on one, one, one block. Camine por una cuadra. A block es una cuadra. One block. Now we are here. It. And it says the post office is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. So it is 
Here is the post office. Now look at the next one. I am here at the gas station and read the conversation. Let's see la tabla. I, I confuse a bit. I, no. I, Dichemelo, dichemelo. No, del dos. Porque la del uno es la más fácil. Ok, let's see. Uh, I can't find Al's coffee shop. Is it near here? No puedo encontrar this, esta tienda de café que se llama Al's. Is it near here? Está cerca de acá. No, it isn't. You are part of that place. Look at this. And here is Al's coffee shop. And this person is here at the gas station. So it's far. Right? It's at the other corner of the city. How can I get there? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a ese lugar? Go straight on Center Street. Turn right at Second Avenue. So go straight on Center Street. Turn. It says turn right at Second Avenue. Giramos acá a la derecha. Go until you reach Main Street. Vaya hasta que llegue a la calle principal. That's Main Street. You will see Favorite Shoes Shop. Desde acá vamos a poder ver esta tienda. Favorite Shoes Shop. Al's Coffee Shop. It's next to Favorite Shop Shop. Here is next to shoes shop. Thank you. So now let's see. Let me a practice. I will or do... between. Oh, yeah, or begin. Favorite shoes. Between. No, we can say between in this case. It's next to. We can't use between. It's next to. Podría ser behind. No, begin. Begin. Or behind. Uh, uh, sí, behind, perdón. Um, but here is, let's see. I guess this is the answer for favorite shoes. And this is a coffee shop. So it's next to. Next to. It's next to. So let's see, you are here, you are in the parking lot and you want to go to the supermarket to here. So you are at this point and you want to go to the supermarket. What are the directions you have to follow? Who went to the right? On the left in, in the main street. Okay. Across the, across the Maria restaurant. On the left on main street. Acá, ¿cuánto tengo que caminar? Teacher. Yes. Eh, yo diría, no sé, yo, yo voy caminando, no voy en vehículo, diría. Across <laughs> Pierce Avenue <laughs> and turn turn right go go main main street in in one block. Okay, and turn right on Main Street. Walk on for one block. For one block and corner. Second Avenue on Main Street in front of Favorite Shoes. Ok, si utilizo los puntos cardinales, ¿cuál esquina sería? Northeast, Northwest, uh, Southwest, ¿cuál sería? 
Southeast? No. East? No. no. Northwest. Okay. Yes, the memory is this is the, the north. Yes. It's difficult to write with this. And this is the west and this north. is the south. ¿Cuál esquina sería? East. No. It's on the east of no. Second no. Avenue. Okay, it's on the northeast North -east. North -east. Corners. corner Second of Second Avenue and in front of Main Street. Oh, you can use in front of, in front, in front of, of the, favorite shoes. In front of favorite shoes. Pero si la puerta de favorite shoes is here, if you say in front of, is here. Okay. So you can use across from, across from, across from the favorite shoes. So let's erase this. Now let's imagine that you're here, you are on the bookstore and you want to go to the park. We are here in front of the bookstore and I go to the park and the park is here. So, ¿cómo hago para llegar? How can I get there? How can I get to the park from the bookstore? Go straight on Second Avenue and see the Maria's restaurant. Okay, uh, I'm here. I can see Maria's restaurant now. Turn right, turn right on. Turn right on Main Street. On Main Street. And turn left on. Uh, front, Love Department Store. Okay, the park is in front of the Lux the Farm store. Okay. Thanks a lot. Now I am in the park. Ya me estoy bañando en esa fuente. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So now let's see, I am at the hospital and I am happy that I had recovered my health. So I want to go and watch a movie at the movie theater. So how can I get the movie theater? Um, movie. I am uh, here. No sé si puede marcar dónde está el cine. Uh, yes, here it is. It's a uh, purple color movie theater. It's here. Mm, okay. Me. Okay, thanks. Um, you drive on Center Street. Okay, here. And turn right, turn right on the second avenue. Yes. And, and turn right on the main street. Okay. And the movie theater in front of Maria restaurant okay. is on the left. Okay, thank you. Now I'm watching a Marvel movies. Black Widow. Thanks a lot. Okay, do you have any question about this? Is it easy or difficult to give direction? More or less, teacher, more or less. More or less, right? <laughs> we need to practice, we need to practice, we need to practice this. Now we are going to learn some other phrases to give direction. Yes, we are going to end this. So we're going to end the presentation.
And I want to share it with you uh, another phrases that we can use in order to give direction. And the first one is go stride. What's the meaning of this one? Go stride. By a recto. Go stride. Okay, by a recto. Let's see the next one. Go north. What's the meaning of that? El norte, vaya al sur. Okay, go west. Go east. Vaya al este y al este. Okay, excellent. Okay, now let's see. Um, it's, it's, let's see, it's far to walk. Si un lugar está muy lejos para caminar, ¿verdad? You can say it to far to walk. What does it mean? It means that you have to go on a car, on the bus. So you can say they, they the subway. Take a bus. They take the bus. Take the subway, take the bus. Let's see. Rent a car. Try a car, yes. And also, you can say it's about. Para calcular la distancia, we can say it's about. It's about one, one mile. It's about one mile away. We can use this phrase. It's about one mile away. Está, ¿verdad? Cerca de una milla, de lejos. O un kilómetro. Instead of mile, we're going to use kilometer. So it's about one kilometer away. Está como a un kilómetro. Está como a un kilómetro. O podemos también hacer el cálculo en tiempo. It's, we can use this. It's a five minutes. Give me a second. It's a five minutes. Dry. Conduciendo queda a cinco minutos. Ahora caminando, una hora y media. It's a five minutes drive. It's a 20 minutes walk. Son 15 minutos de caminata. It's a 15 minute walk caminando conduciendo five minutes walking 15 minutes so we can use this do you have any question hello guys no teacher question no question Clear. No question. Okay, excellent then. Tonight we are going to read the instruction of the midterm test for you to take it without any problem. So let me share with you the instruction of the midterm. So just give me a second. ¿Alguien ya realizó el examen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Lizette, say yes. I did it, teacher. So look at this. It has one, two, three, four, five. Five section. This is the midterm exam. And the first exercise is a listening. This is a listening part. 
So instruction, listen to the conversation and check the correct answer. We are going to listen the conversation. We're going to play here the audio and we're going to listen and then we're going to go here checking. Vamos a ir acá escogiendo la respuesta correcta. They are going to have a party on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The first question is, Mark is going to be, ¿cuántos años va a tener Mark? So, 13, 30, or 33. They are going to add the party. And then you are going to choose according to the listening, dance, sing songs, and watch television. So this is the first exercise. Do you have any question about this? No. No, okay. I work, uh, oh, you I, work, I work in the in the lesson three, section eight. Ah, uh, okay. So probably tomorrow you are going to do this exam. So if you have any any problem, you can't listen this part. So you have to write on WhatsApp group, please. So the second exercise, it's match. Match the question with the answer. Vamos a emparejar. Match the question with the answer. So vamos a emparejar esta pregunta con la respuesta correcta. And you have many options here. You must be careful at this part. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six options. So, and you say, are we going to work this weekend? Then you have to look for the correct answer in these options. So, yes, I am going to go swimming. No, it's not just going to be cloudy. No, we're not. We're going to relax. Yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. So, you are going to look for the correct answer and you pick up right now. Are they going to go cook dinner? And you choose the answer. You have six, six questions in this part. Emparejar, the question with the, with the correct answer. This is part B, match the question with the answer. Let's see the next. So do you have any problem with this type of exercise? No problem. Bueno, después vamos a tener un feedback, ¿verdad? No se preocupen. Después vamos a tener un feedback de este examen. Como un repaso, una retroalimentación de los temas tratados en el examen. Then, in the third exercise, you are going to have this. Select WH question to complete the conversation. So, you are going to choose the correct WH question or information question to complete the conversation. So you can see here the answer and you are going to choose the question. En esta parte va a haber las respuestas y usted tiene que escoger la pregunta correcta. What was the right question? Next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. Alaska, wow, we're going to take a boat. That sounds exciting. I'm going to go with my family. So what was the question, the correct question? So you read the uh, option carefully and you choose the best. So great, we're going to go on June 21st. And you have one, two, three, four. Four question in the exercise number three. Then let's go with the next one. Complete the conversation. Complete the conversation. Completen las conversaciones. How we are going to complete the conversation? By selecting the correct word. We are going to, you have here some option. Feel, get, and have in this opportunity. And you are going to choose the correct. I, a headache. And you say, I feel, I get, or I have. You choose the first one. And here is a mistake, right? It have a question mark, but it's a point. 
you need a point here. And in B, you are going to he go here selecting the correct verb to complete these sentences. Conversation two, you have one conversation, three conversation, four, four short conversation that you are going to complete by selecting the correct word. No question at this part. And then, no question. No question, okay. Then we have a reading part in the fifth exercise in el ejercicio quinto. We are going to have this article, so home remedies. Home remedies for a cold, for a cough, cough for a cough, for a headache, and for insomnia. You are going to have to read this part. You read, and then you answer for a cold. What's the correct remedy? ¿Cuál es el remedio correcto para una cold o una gripe? So you choose here according to the reading. After you read, you go here through the exercise and you have to choose the correct answer according to the reading for a cough, for a cabbage, for insomnia. Okay, if you click in this button, you are going to see a window with, we're going to have a web page with the full site image in this. In case you can see the reading part. Here you have home remedies. No question about the meter. Alguna sección que crean que van a tener problemas o las instrucciones no están claras. Tell me at this moment, please. No question. Teacher, teacher, you have time for answer the, the test. Can you please repeat? Eh. All we time to answer the test. Uh, if you have time to answer the test, no, you don't have time. You don't have a limit of time to answer the test, so don't worry. Okay. Hey, what happened today? We are just 17. What happened with the rest of the class? They take a break tonight. Se tomaron un descanso el día de hoy. So I'm, I'm going to write that on the group. <laughs> okay, teacher, ¿cuándo estará disponible en la plataforma? Oh, Heidi, drive with, with your house. And she is driving. Okay, Lisette. <laughs> la, el diploma va a estar disponible cuando usted alcance más del 80%. Entonces usted ya le va a aparecer una opción para que usted pueda ver. Su... Teacher, pero yo ya finalicé todo y ya tengo el 100%, pero no me aparece esa opción. Todavía no puede ver la opción. Bueno, a veces Solo... pasa, un, pasa un tiempo, ¿verdad? Como a las dos, tres semanas que va del curso, ya se puede ver, ya activan el certificado. Ajá, porque quizás no lo han activado todavía. Yo porque... creería que después de, de, de que hagamos esto del de de mañana creo yo. Ajá. Oh, ok si sí, generalmente aparece después de que usted consigue el 80% then the 80% and you can see you are able to see your diploma but in this case probably it's about the time después de estas dos semanas de esta primera semana usted ya va a poder ver su diploma do you have any other question no, any question. No question. Okay, then no, keep, okay. keep working. Keep working on the platform exercises, please. Sigamos trabajando en esos ejercicios. It's important that you complete the platform exercise. And also, it's important that you are here in the class. También es importante que 
esté, ¿verdad? En las sesiones virtuales. So, don't miss classes, please. No pierdan las clases, por favor. Eh, see you tomorrow then. Nos vemos mañana, entonces. Bye, bye. Good night. 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 I'm sorry. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye, Heidi. Take care.